What's good guys? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. Um, before we get into the market talk video, I just want to go over this card. I did not know Magic Johnson has a center card in 2K. I'm like, what? I'm really confused. If you guys could understand, I guess he played center one time in his career. I don't know. Um, he it looks like he's older in this too. Um, but yeah, guys. Uh, <laughs> I did not know that, but anyways, guys, let's get into some market talk. Before we get into it, drop 10k in the comments, like the vid, sub if you are new, for a chance at winning 10k MT. Um, oh, my Carmelo sold, so that's good. I I'm happy with that. Wow. All right. So, Carmelo sold. I have a stack team. I'm still trying to grind that historic dom, and I still have James Harden. He checked. Off Mello alone, I sniped him out for 64k on one of my videos, sold him for 120, made about 50k clean. I, if you ask me, that's pretty solid. So, uh, let's check out how much James Harden he check is for. Okay, so, Market Talk Tuesday. Um, this is not Market Talk Tuesday, but in a Market Talk video, we pretty much just talk about what's going on with the market, uh, how you make coins, how you make stuff, uh, how you make coins, what to sell, what to buy, all that good stuff. So, with that said, guys, there's a lot of things you should be doing in 2K to make MT. There's a million things. You could be playing solo challenges. You could be playing on the market. You could be popping packs. You could be doing a ton of stuff. You could be getting getting MT from websites, which I don't recommend. But let's get into it. Um, right now, there's a lot of things you should be sniping. Um, and there's a lot of things that going to make you MT. So, first off... In my opinion, I would try to stay. If you have some MT, I would say around 20K. To make some MT, I missed a snipe on Mike Muscala earlier and a Terrence Ferguson. As you can see, they're very expensive silvers. I missed a Terrence Ferguson for 4K. I should have took a screenshot of it. I missed it. I also missed a Mike Muscala for 3K. Now, these posts are low-key active. And not only that, they don't get bought out as quickly as expected. So, silvers in the game are very good to snipe. They can make you a ton of MT. And uh, this is definitely going to be a good video on how to make MT. So uh, let's get into it. All the different ways. So right now, what you guys should do? Um, let's. Let, I'm gonna go over all the amethyst cards. I told you guys to pick some up, and I also told you guys to sell some. Lately, since those Earl Monroe packs drop, I would su suggest you. Um, I would suggest you wait a little bit because the market is definitely down. As you can see, Giannis is at about 65k, which is such a L. Um, I want to check on Harden. I want to check on Curry. Also, with these new amethysts in the game, bro, these new amethysts are already under 20k, which I find crazy. Um, they're good players to snipe, but that Bobby Jones, I got him for 9k earlier. I don't know what he's going for now. He probably went up, but wow, I don't see how amethysts are that cheap. Jerry Sloan went up a ton. Let's check out Bobby Jones. Um, off Bobby Jones, I'm probably gonna make about hopefully a lot of MT. Hopefully, he's at least 13k or more. I got him for nine flat. All right, so that's good. He's not under 7k, dude. Amethyst at that cheap, you should have picked up a ton. Oh, he's actually not that. Damn it, man. I thought he would go up a lot. So, he's the cheapest amethyst in the game by like a long shot. All right, so I'm gonna make a little bit of MT, not too much. It's looking like he's around 12 something, which isn't too bad. All right, no, it's just lagging. 2K still hasn't fixed their auction, dude. Are you kidding me right now? Wow. So with that said, 2K still hasn't fixed their auction. Looks like he's going to be around 11.5. Maybe we could snipe one for nine. Uh, all right. Yeah, he's not. He's 11.5. I'll make a little bit. I'll make about, what, 1K MT. All right. All right, guys. So... Right now, I honestly, at this point, if you have a ton of Amethyst or any cards in general, I would just recommend selling it because this is what this is my theory. So it looks like D-Wade packs are actually going to drop. Um, D-Wade packs are going to go away, I mean, and they are going to get rid. They're going to be gone two, day, two days and 15 hours. So what does 2K like to do? In two days, that is what, a Friday or Thursday? They usually drop packs on those days, Thursday or Friday, whatever. I think it's I think it's a Friday. They usually drop packs on the day on those days. What that means, the market's gonna crash more. Yeah, they did drop those Earl Monroe, but they've been dropping a lot of packs, and it's kind of crazy. With 2K dropping a lot of packs, what happens to the market? It crashes. Um, I'm just saying, prepare for another market crash, bro. 2K is the one game that I could say can like 
confidently that all 2k does like there's no market increases when 2k drops content it crashes no matter what that is the one thing i know not only that when the 2k market crashes the snipes are out of this world um I, I make all my mt off when packs are out that is the best time to make mt i always post videos right after packs are out but uh let's look at james harden i want to check his price for instance because i got him for 35k earlier hopefully he's at least 40 something because that'll be really nice let's check all right 41k all right so i saw a couple at 38k looks like he did rise a little bit the only one that really took a hit today was Giannis. and let's check out curry and anthony davis i saw anthony davis around 40k um right now i would definitely just go ahead and sell all your players do not take risks if you're gonna hold on to them you're gonna lose mc no matter what i don't care they're not gonna raise in price it's guaranteed there's no shot they raise in price i will put like i will put a 10k mt on every card you don't sell because they you're gonna lose mt believe me selling now grinding out with all these rewards collections so now ready look at my team i'm gonna just show you my team all right let's just say we sub out Giannis for gel green we sub out harden for cooper we sub out j kid for Jalen, even though jason kid is free we sub out bobby jones for walker so now this is my team this is all that this is all players that i got from playing the game and all right daryl dawkins tom chambers so now this team right here including i could include jason kidd because he's free too this team right here is all free you're saying you can't beat some historic domination teams with this team um now like if i sell Giannis, harden and paul george which i'm going to probably before thursday or friday you are going to realize like like you're not you're just i don't know there's just so many this is why i'm saying sell cards because i'm just saying that if you sell the cards there's no way that you could lose MT number one. And second of all, you could get them back for cheaper if you just try sniping them and be patient on the auction. That's what I'll be doing. I'll probably get rid of all of them besides Giannis because I'm obsessed with Giannis. But yeah, so you sell these cards, you rock out the solos with your Nat team, all these rubies and stuff. And then you just simply get them back for cheaper later on. That's my method of 2K. That's what I've been doing for years of 2K. I don't really pop packs or anything. But also, I've been telling a lot of my subs to go check out Damian Lillard because Damian Lillard is a very active Ruby post that I have sniped about four times and also Zion. Unless Zion, haven't checked Zion in a while, but I know in the beginning of the game, Zion was super, super, super cheap. So, I mean, super like expensive. He was like 5K for a goal. So we're gonna check out Zion. And um, I'm gonna tell you, Damian Lillard's a good person to snipe with low MT. And um, Damian Lillard and what's it called? Kyrie Irving and the other Ruby point guard. I forgot who it is. But it's looking like Zion is definitely a lot cheaper now. He used to be like 7K in the beginning. Now he's like 2,800, which is kind of an L. I'm actually going to buy him to fill up my collection a little bit. And just because it's Zion Williamson. So welcome to the team. Um, let me think. What else do I got in my mind? Also, if you have Earl Monroe, I highly suggest you sell. Um, you could hold on to him. But my fear is with Earl Monroe, considering he's the only diamond in 2K right now, uh, I kind of recommend selling him. I, I don't really feel like if you I feel like if you sell him now, first of all, there's so many on the auction. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's already uh, you could already buy him for 100K. I would just go ahead and recommend selling him now. I really don't think that he will go down that much. It's the only diamond on the auction like he's 89K right now. I honestly just recommend you just could get rid of him now before he drops more. If you do have this card, I do not think he will rise. There's no shot he rises. His price, if anything, is going to keep going down. Everyone's trying to pull the first diamond in the whole game. So first diamond in the game, definitely going to go down. I don't think he stays up. Don't, don't think he keeps his price. Melo on the other hand, Carmelo Anthony on the other hand, he is going to go up a ton. Um, no one's popping those packs anymore. First of all, the mellow odds to get mellow were actually stupid. Like, no one pulled them. I mean, no one pulled that mellow. It was so hard to get that mellow. He, I just sold mine for 120k if you sold, saw in the video. So if you have Carmelo Anthony, now is a good time to sell. I just sold mine for 120k bid. I recommend selling him. I don't even think he's a good card. But um, yeah, guys. I honestly just hope you take these tips. You put them in the back of your head. Um, just make some MT, sell your cards now, pick them up later. Um, that's pretty much the best methods. Uh, my method right now 
is going to domination, his all-time domination, or any domination, grinding out some games with my Nat team, getting my tokens, getting my MT, stacking them up, going on the auction, trying to snipe for like 20, maybe 10, 20 minutes, go back on domination, and that's that's my move. I mean, yeah, I don't have the best team in the world. I had I haven't spent like $500 in the game, but I would say my team is pretty good. I, I would say I have a pretty decent amount of MT. So you guys can listen to me, you guys can't. You guys don't have to, but I just recommend you do. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Have a good one. Peace. No way, Jose.